What's going on guys? Danny B here. It is Saturday, almost one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, yeah, I, I decided to go thrifting this morning at the, uh, the Great Nuns, National New Hampshire guys. I'm, I'm very glad that I went today. I, uh, I struck out, I struck gold with a bunch of these, uh, t-shirts and I found a hat. So, uh, let's get into this guys. I spent $47 altogether. And, um, yeah, I found some really good things today, guys. So, first up, I think this is a vintage Gold's Gym snapback hat. Um, I'm going to have to wash this. But, uh, yeah, there's some decent sales for the Gold's Gym snapbacks, snapback hats, guys. And this is embroidered. Um, it's a little dirty on the inside. But um, I'm going to give this a little scrub a dub and try to get it cleaned up. And, uh... See what I can get for it. Hopefully at least 25 bucks, if not more, guys. So, um, all these t-shirts right here, I paid $2 a piece, which was an excellent price. And um, my last shirt I'm going to show you, I paid up, which, which was only $5, which is usually what I have to pay anyways at the Goodwill. And, um, yeah, guys, so really good deals today. So let's get into this. First shirt. And I haven't really inspected these shirts. I kind of grabbed them really quick. They're in piles. So um, if there's any flaws, we'll, we'll find them together, guys. So first up, there's nothing crazy here, but this is a uh, Grand Canyon National Park t-shirt. And uh, this is not vintage. So something like this, I'm going to have to look up. Um, hopefully get about $16 to $17 for it. But, uh, yeah, for two bucks, it's a no-brainer, guys. So I picked that up. But I think most of these shirts are vintage. This one right here is vintage. Uh, Hanes Single Stitch Jason Island Earth. And I don't know what that is. Jason Project. Oh, Hawaii Islands. Double-sided graphic t-shirt. And this is pretty cool, guys. Haynes tag. Single stitch. So, uh, yeah, I'll have to look this up. This might be an auction item right here, guys. We'll see. Next up, I found two shirts. Um, they're kind of similar. I think they're by the same company. Oh, no. Two different uh, tags. But they both have stripes. First up, this is vintage single stitch King's Tree Classic men's t shirt made in the USA, extra large, striped. So I'll have to look at this brand, guys, but um, hopefully close to 20 bucks. Seems to be very clean. I don't see any flaws, guys. So I gotta look up this tag after the video and see what's going on. So I picked that up. This shirt looks kind of similar, but it's different. This is on a TJ's tag, made in the USA, single stitch, embroidered Maine t-shirt, guys. And uh, yeah, guys, hopefully I can get 23 to $24 for this. And uh, yeah. Another nice find right here. I just have my smoothie, so I'm starting to burp a little bit. Um, this shirt is nothing crazy. This is called Poor's People's Pub. And I don't know where this is, but it's double-sided. And I think someone's going to buy this, guys. Um, like I said, it's only two bucks. This has a very faint stain on the front. So I'm probably going to pre-treat this. I don't know where this place is, but I'm going to look it up, guys. And um, hopefully I can get about 18 bucks with it someday. Next on deck is another Poor People's Pub t-shirt. And um, this might be in Atlanta. It looks like Sanbornville AL. So I'm going to look this up, guys. And uh, hopefully, like, 17 to 18 bucks for this someday. 
nothing too crazy. Making sure it has no stains on it. And uh, yeah, pick that up. This here is pretty sweet, guys. Vintage single stitch anvil tag. Call of the wild. Wild. It looks like a wolf t shirt, guys. So this is pretty sweet. And um, yeah, guys. Very nice graphic. Vintage. Made in the USA, single stitch. So I'm going to look this up and uh, hopefully I can get about 25 bucks for that. Next up is a International Chili Society Port and Company t-shirt. This is not vintage, but I think somebody will pick this up and um, hopefully get about 16 bucks for this maybe, maybe 15 With a two dollar price, I definitely uh, if these shirts were five dollars, like if this was five dollars, I wouldn't have picked it up. But at two bucks, I can definitely pick it up, guys. Next up is a shirt, National uh, Nashua Community College, on a Gildan tag, double sided T-shirt, and um, I think somebody that either goes to school there or somebody has graduated from there will pick this up. Hopefully about 15 bucks, 16 bucks maybe. Next up is a really nice shirt, guys. This is, uh, you know what? It's double stitch, but this might be, this still might be vintage. Um, it's on a Fred Harvey tag. And I've never seen this tag before. And Made in Mexico, printed in the USA. I think this is still vintage. I think this is late 90s. Um, Grand Canyon National Park. And it's got all the layers of the rock, guys. So, um, yeah, I'm going to look up this tag. I'm pretty sure this is late 90s, so it's going to be vintage. Even if it was the year 2000, it would still be vintage, guys. It's going to be 20 years, so... Very nice shirt right here. I think, I think someone would definitely pick this up. Um, maybe between 22 and 25 bucks. This right here, guys, is a, um, I don't know if it's vintage, Royal Canadian Mounted Police RCMP Elite Tag Made in Canada Embroidered T-shirt. I think someone's going to pick this up, guys. Um, this is, this could be late 90s. I'm going to have to look. But um, it seems to be in clean condition. So yeah, I picked that up. Uh, this here, I usually don't pick up Planet Hollywood. But it was only two bucks. This is New York City embroidered, extra large, made in the USA. So this might be uh, late 90s t-shirt and I'll have to look this up I'm not sure what these are going for I'm assuming less than 20 bucks and it has a little stain on the side very faint so I'm gonna put this in the stain pile guys I picked that up I picked up a lot of shirts today guys this is um, Haynes Beefy T property of the Nashua Police Department. Extra large t-shirt. And I think this was all guys. I, I looked up police department shirts and there's a lot of sales. Nothing crazy, but um, hopefully get about 18 to 20 bucks out of this. I found a few police department shirts. Another Nashua Police Department. And this is vintage, guys. Wow, I didn't notice that. This is on a, a uh, Fruit of the Loom Best tag. This is single stitch. I did not notice that, guys. And uh, yeah, Nashville Police Department. So hopefully 25 bucks for this shirt. Very nice, very nice. Next up is a Nashua Community College celebrating education, guys. 
And um, it's only single sided, maybe about 15 to 18 bucks, maybe about 16, 17, right in the middle there, guys. So I'm going to look this up, throw it on eBay, try to sell it. Next up is a um, Nashville, New Hampshire Bomb Squad double sided t shirt. And this has stains on it, but I'm going to pre treat it. It's probably not vintage, but um, I'm going to pre treat this. And this is definitely a unique shirt. And I think someone's going to buy it someday, guys. So hopefully, about 20 bucks for that. Next up is a uh, ooh, another another vintage National Police Department special reaction team on a Hanes tag, double sided. Like I said, guys, I didn't really look at these shirts really like close because I was blasting through like piles of them. But uh, yeah, single stitch, double sided, beautiful guys. So hopefully another twenty five bucks for that. This here, guys, is a uh, Planet Hollywood Cozumel. And to be honest, guys, I don't know where that is. I'll have to look it up. Maybe it's Mexico or something. The shirt's made in Mexico. This could be vintage. And uh, it's embroidered. So I usually don't pick these up, but um, at two bucks, I definitely will. So hopefully between 15 and $20 for that shirt. This shirt is vintage, guys. Um, this is on a cotton deluxe tag. Single stitch, Jimmy Buffett's Coconut Telegraph. Pull, uh, Henley shirt. It's not a polo shirt, it's a Henley shirt, guys. Embroidered. So this right here is pretty sweet, guys. Yeah, I, I think I have a new rule for myself. I'm not gonna pick up Jimmy Buffett unless it's vintage, and this is vintage, single stitch. Very good condition, guys. So maybe 25 to 30 bucks for this shirt. Another National Police Department, guys. Vintage on the Hanes, I mean, on the Fruit of the Loom best tag. Extra large, single stitch. And I think this is just like the other one that I found earlier. And uh, let's see if it, let's see if they're the same size. Wow, this is unbelievable, guys. Yeah, I get two extra large of the same shirt. That is amazing, guys. So I'm going to take measurements. If these are in great shape, if they have the same measurements, I'm going to um, I'll probably make a bulk listing. But, um, yeah, we'll see, guys. I have to measure these things up. But really unbelievable finds here, guys. So sometimes you get a dig. You get a dig for those shirts. And last up, this was not with the $2 shirts. This was, this was up on top of the rack. And all the shirts on top of the rack are 5 bucks. But, guys, this is beautiful. This is a vintage Anvil tag. Single sti uh, stitch. Pinky in the Brain, 1995 Warner Brothers graphic t-shirt. And I've never watched this cartoon, but um, there's some really good sold listings. And uh, I'm probably going to start this at 40 bucks on auction and see where it goes, guys. So I'm probably going to get this listed today. And uh, yeah, guys. Awesome trip to the thrift. Uh, thank, thank you, Great Nuns, for being there. And uh, yeah, it was a good time. So uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching my videos. I got a lot of work to do. But um, you guys enjoy your weekend. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.